by now, you must have spotted at least one of the many images flying around the internet of the deep space photographs taken by the James Webb Telescope. Even if you aren't a fan of space, you'll still be able to feel how huge of a deal these photos are. Just the scope of how huge the image is, according to the scientist, is enough to make you feel like a tiny grain of sand in comparison. Firstly, why has the James Webb Telescope become such a wonder? What you have to understand is that there has never been an infrared telescope before, and that is why the James Webb Telescope has everyone so excited and frankly terrified. We're sure we aren't the only ones sitting in an existential crisis as the scientist over at NASA tried explaining how tiny we were in the latest images. The internet erupted with mixed views with everybody confused as to what to feel. So what makes this new telescope so important? Basically, infrared wavelengths are what allow the scientist over at NASA to see the first stars and galaxies forming since the Big Bang. The light from the pictures has taken about a quarter of a billion years to reach us, so we're literally looking into the past. It's almost like having a time machine at your disposal. No wonder NASA has been dealing with nearly 12,000 proposals from aspiring scientists to use the new space-age technology. The images coming in are things humans would have never even imagined seeing, and even things that we have seen now look totally different since we can finally look through all the gas clouds blocking our sight because of the infrared. Right now, the biggest aim that scientists have is to use this new and amazing technology to find terrestrial and habitable planets, or even find biological life. As soon as they discover planets that have enough water for oceans, we could be looking at a new era for all of us. Truly, this feels like we are finally entering the start of some science fiction movie, discovering new stars and new species. Next, let's talk about the most recent images of Jupiter rising. According to the scientist at NASA, nobody actually expected the telescope to work as well as it has, so it's really quite impressive seeing how important learning from the images the machine produces has become. The most recent breakthrough by the James Webb Telescope came when scientists decided to peer back into our own solar system to try and discover things they couldn't have seen before with the limited technology we had. What resulted are some of the craziest pictures we've ever gotten to see of the planet Jupiter. Some of the most high resolution and most detailed photos of the surface. It feels like you're standing right there. In the pictures, we get to see Jupiter's Great Red Spot, a nickname given to one of the most massive storms we have ever seen, literally big enough to swallow Earth inside it whole. Jupiter's countless other tinier storms can now also be seen raging over the planet and the picture, along with the signature rings around the planet. The picture itself is quite awe-inspiring, just putting the magnitude of everything in the scale perfectly through the sides of the sparkling stars around the planet and the two tiny moons which can be seen floating in the cosmos. So much drama in a single shot, you'd be forgiven for thinking that these colors are actually how space seems if you ever tried looking up at the stars. But these infrared pictures were actually just colored in by scientists, as closely as possible to make the elements stick out and to make it easier for them to study. And lastly, what could these images mean for the future? Right now, you're probably thinking, so what? We've already seen Jupiter so many times. And you're right, this isn't the first time we're getting to see the planet. But what these new images are doing is something completely new. It is being used to observe the galaxies we already have discovered and have access to for scientists to be able to answer many important questions. It will help us in understanding how galaxies form and a timeline for how long it has taken. Just think of how many scientific as well as religious questions that could answer. These new images of Jupiter are the closest we've ever looked at the planet, and we're sure to find about 8 billion things we missed before. Right now, the biggest aim the scientists have is to use this new and amazing technology to find habitable environments or even find biological life around us. As soon as they discover enough water for oceans, we could be looking at a new era for all of us. Truly, this feels like we are finally entering the start of some science fiction movie, discovering new stars and new species. One of the main reasons scientists are looking for water is that theoretically, the hydrogen could be separated from the oxygen and be turned into really powerful rocket fuel for space exploration. So these planets would basically be just a huge gas station for humanity. Just imagine that your children might be studying what you're experiencing now as just common knowledge in the future. Humanity's ongoing hunt for exoplanets is something that the telescope will further beyond our wildest imaginations. But with that, we'll also be able to look at our own solar system better. We can now see all the way out to the edges of our own solar system for hints to our own creation. So all in all, this new telescope might end up being as important as Galileo's first invention. In other related news, NASA's latest mission to the moon, the Artemis 1, the latest and most promising mission of NASA's Artemis program, which plans to return space explorers to the moon 
by 2025 at the Lunar South Pole. The launch will take place on the 9th of August, and the unmanned spacecraft will circle the moon and come back to Earth just to test if it's capable of making the journey. When the mission succeeds, NASA will follow it up with Artemis II, a trip around the moon in 2024, which will then prompt the Artemis III, which will take the first colony to the lunar pole of the moon, which we've never actually set foot on before. This is all happening as NASA hopes to set up a colony there, and then pretty soon set up a gateway space station in orbit. This would then allow us to send resources and people up to the station, and from there, they are hoping we can start making trips to Mars. We really do live in exciting times. Now on to some of the most interesting exoplanets we've discovered so far. We've learned of some wacky exoplanets, but what could some of these mean for us? Starting with Kepler-10b. This has to be one of the coolest ones we've come across. Actually, no, not quite. Found in 2011 by the Kepler telescope, it makes liquid drops of iron and silicates. The planet's surface is covered with magma that's hotter than any found on Earth because of the intense radiation from the stars around it. The lava surface reminded a lot of fans of the fictional Star Wars planet, Mustafar, actually where the final battle between Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker took place, and the young Anakin transitioned into Darth Vader after being melted on the lava bed. This just shows how things we imagine to only be fiction could very well prove to be a reality, as more and more exoplanets are discovered. Next, Rogue Planets and Ogle 2016 BLG 1928. Stargazers trust that the Milky Way could be overflowing with enormous orphan exoplanets that have broken away from their orbits and wander through the universe alone, flung through the galaxy, riding out the gravitational pools of other stars. These planets are extremely difficult to find and had only been theorized about, but scientists used a technique called gravitational microlensing to detect the planet through the disturbances it caused to other solar systems. The idea that a planet could be so detached from any framework and just hurls through space on its own whim is something that really puts things into perspective for us. Wrapping things up with the diamond planet, estimated to be almost twice the size of Earth and around 384 quadrillion times more valuable. 55 Cancrea is made up of carbon, graphite, iron, and highly compressed diamond. The idea of this entire planet being composed of such valuable metals and minerals has seemed too good to be true for scientists, but after much research, it proves to be the only explanation for why the planet is so dense. This is just one of the many discoveries we've made in recent years, and just gets us wondering how much more potential does the human race still have to unlock that'll be made possible pretty soon if we're able to travel to all these astonishing exoplanets, and will we ever get there? That's a wrap for this video, and thank you for watching. What do you think of the new images of Jupiter, and which other planets would you like to take a closer look at? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.